Hi, I'm Ethan Green from No Sleepless Nights, and in this video I'm going to compare the Electrofan Classic and the Electrofan Evo white noise machines. Several people have asked me which one's better in the comments section of previous reviews I've done, so I thought I'd make this video to demonstrate the differences and to explain why I think they're both excellent white noise machines. I'll talk about the similarities and differences first, and then play through all of the sounds at the end for anyone who's interested in listening to them. Let's start with the design then. As you can see, both of them look quite simple. I like the minimalist design, the hexagonal shape, and the upward facing speakers. I like the shape of both of them, but probably prefer the rounded curves of the Electrofan Evo and the angled top. I also think the white colour of the Evo is a bit more elegant than the off-white of the Classic. Both are available in a darker colour as well though. The dimensions are also quite similar. The Electrofan Classic measures 4.4 by 4.4 by 2.2 inches, and I weighed it at 14 ounces. The Electrofan Evo is slightly larger, measuring 4.7 by 4.7 by 3.3 inches, but a bit lighter at around 12 ounces. This is a fairly common size for white noise machines. For example, here you can see them with the Magic Team, the Renfo, and the Dream Egg D3 Pro. I describe them both as being portable, though you can find even smaller sound machines. They both have just six buttons and are very easy to operate. The Electrofan Classic buttons are labelled with a power button, timer button, volume up and down, and a separate button for the white noise or fan sounds. The Electrofan Evo's buttons aren't labelled, but I think the icons make it pretty clear what each of them are for. The Evo's buttons are also a bit bigger and on the top, so I find them slightly easier to use. It's great that both devices have a separate button for the white noise and fan sounds. It makes it much easier to choose the sound you like, rather than pressing one button repeatedly to find it. Both devices will play continuously all night if you want them to, or you can have an hour long auto off timer if you press the timer button, and add more hours if you keep pressing it. There are no LEDs on either machine to tell you what the timer length is, which is good if you don't like LEDs anywhere in your bedroom, but not so good if you want a quick way to see what the timer length is set to. Personally, I would have preferred them to have small LEDs with the option to turn them off if you want to, and it's a criticism I have of both devices. On the underside, both have non-slip feet, which is good as it stops them from sliding off your nightstand in the night if you're fumbling around in the dark trying to change the settings. Both are made from hard plastic and feel very robust though, so they can withstand some knocks. One key difference between the two is that the Electrofan Evo has a headphone jack. You can plug in any headphones with a standard 3.5mm plug and listen to your white noise in private. This is great if you don't want to disturb anyone else in your house or bedroom, and it also increases the sound masking effectiveness. As for powering them, both come with a 5 volt power adapter to plug into a standard power outlet, but you can also use the cable to plug them into a USB outlet. The cable is around a metre and a half long, which I find long enough to reach a power outlet from my nightstand. Interestingly, the Electrofan Classic came with three plug adapters, made for the UK, US and EU sockets, which is helpful if you're taking it with you when you're travelling. Neither of them have an internal rechargeable battery or can be powered by normal batteries though, and they have to be plugged in to work. Talking of power, the power consumption and running costs of both is very low. I measured them both for two hours with a power meter, and neither of them even reached one pence in cost. The high power usage of both was two watts when I left them running on maximum volume. So by my rough calculation, if you left them running on maximum volume for eight hours a day for 30 days, and you pay 28 pence per kilowatt hour in the UK, for example, the monthly running cost would be around 13 pence. Or for example, if you're in the US and you're charged 15 cents per kilowatt hour, they would cost 7 cents per month to run. And on the topic of cost, the Electrofan Classic is typically a bit cheaper than the Evo to buy. The prices do fluctuate though, so here you can see example prices on Amazon at the time of filming on the 16th of July 2022. The Electrofan Classic costs just under £50 in the UK or $39 in the US, while the Evo costs just under £65 in the UK and $45 in the US. It's worth shopping around though, and you can sometimes find second-hand ones for less on eBay. Ok, let's talk about the sounds now. Both the Classic and the Evo have 10 white noise and 10 fan sounds. The main difference though is that the Evo also has two ocean surf sounds. I don't think the ocean surf sounds are particularly realistic, but it's nice to have the extra variety and some people might like them. It's important to note that neither has any other nature sounds like rain for example, so I always describe them as being white noise and fan sound specialists. In my opinion they both have a better range of brown to white noise than any other white noise machine, along with a wider range of fan sounds. They both have incremental volume controls and very loud maximum volume. I found the loudest setting possible, and at a distance of 1 meter, measured the maximum dBA of the Electrofan Evo at 75.5. The Electrofan Classic was even louder, coming in at 78.4. So both of them are among the loudest white noise machines I've ever used, and I find they're both very capable of blocking out most, if not all, external sound coming from other rooms in the house or from outside. And finally, let's have a listen to all of the sounds. There are 42 in total, so I'll only play each one briefly to keep the video length in check. If you're interested, I'm recording this through the Sony ZV-1 camera and Rode Video Micro microphone. I'll start with Electrofan Classic and then play the Evo.
and that's the sounds. As you can hear, there's a lot of variety, which is great as it means you're more likely to find a sound that you enjoy listening to, that's relaxing, and that helps block out any external noise if that's what you need it to do. I personally love the deep pink and brown noise options of both devices. I think the relatively large high fidelity speaker and digitally generated sounds with no looping means the white noise just sounds richer than any of the other 20 plus white noise machines I've reviewed. Overall then, I think both of these are fantastic little white noise machines. The main reason to choose the Electrofan Evo in my opinion would be the prettier design and the headphone jack, whereas the main reason to choose the Electrofan Classic would be the lower cost and louder maximum volume. But on balance, I don't think there's a clear winner and it's purely personal preference. And that's it for the comparison. I hope you found it useful. If you did and you'd like to buy either of them, you can find a link in the description below to do so. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep in touch and see future reviews and comparisons. Thanks for watching. This is Ethan from No Sleepless Nights.